Hello, this is Ken Ferry with this week's Boots in the Field Report. As we talked about last time, got a lot of chiseling going on, a lot of headlands getting knocked down in quite a few areas. Uh, and Hydrus is running and getting reports of uh, amazingly how dry it is in certain areas and uh, certain soil types out there south. And that's brought a lot of questions in here the last three days that uh, on the consideration of what about going ahead and leveling this ground. Uh, can we start leveling next week? And I, and I want to break that question up into two different formats. And let's talk first about the horizontal tillage. You guys that are running the soil finishers and the field cultivators, I want you to remember that 90% of the compaction problems that I have to deal with in a year come from the first pass in the spring. I want to repeat, 90% of the compaction issues we deal with come with the first pass in the spring. You spend all fall ripping out last year's compaction to put it back in. doesn't make much sense. So when we're talking about should I run my field cultivator or not, we need to go out there and dig down to that depth of tillage, so let's say down there four or five inches, and see if you can ribbon that soil between your thumb and your first finger. If so, you're going to put in compaction, and the price will be high for jumping the gun this spring. I do believe there will be very little ground that will be fit next week for a field cultivator, but with that said, you need to check your own ground. Now, you guys with the vertical tillage, remember it's the wheel track we worry about. And that's assuming you're not running a vertical till harrow at an angle or disc angle. So some of you guys uh, with your vertical tillage tools turn them into horizontal tools this time of year. And not, we're not talking about that. If you're going to run your vertical tillage tool with an angle this time of year, you want to go back to uh, step one. We're talking about horizontal tillage because that's what you're doing. But for you guys that are running them straight uh, out there, it's the wheel track. So if the wheel track... Uh, is taken out with the harrow and it's hard to find when you're digging in there behind it we're going to be good to go but if that wheel track is very evident even after the machines ran through and the soil when you're digging in it is hard that wheel track is going to be a problem and cause us trouble throughout the year itself so it's a situation where again um, making sure that that you're checking the wheel tracks both of the uh, harrow and the tractor that you're working with the other thing we need to think about or the other question is does the field need leveling you know we talk about uh, having a field level come spring and we'd like to see if we did field work in the fall that we would overwinter with three inch peaks and valleys if we can keep below three inch peaks and valleys we can apply our spring herbicide anytime we want and if this field is not got uh, is not smooth enough to put the herbicide on and we do get dry enough next week it would be opportune time to level it so by leveling those rough fields uh, we could put in both in the bean stubble and corn stalks we could come in there the next go around and put our herbicide on and we're ready to rock and roll and maybe make that one more pass before we plant uh, you're also, if you got large peaks and valleys out there by leveling up, we can conserve the water if uh, it turns dry for us, so we can um, keep a homogenized waterfront out there itself. Now, if the field was leveled last fall, I don't believe I'd jump the gun here. Uh, bean stubble would be set up to blow if we hit it again this far out. M bigger concern if we do get hard rains, we could run into a lot of crusting uh, that we'd have to deal with, and then we're going to be forced to hit it a third time, which is going to make it finer and finer. If you did your job and you leveled it last fall, I would say keep your powder dry. Uh, save that pass for later in the season if we need it. If it forgets to rain, uh, you're going to want to conserve all the water that you have out there right now. And we can uh, plant and sterile seed bed if we have to. With that, though, if this forecast is right, I think there will be a lot of areas that could be leveling ground next week, especially that chiseled uh, corn stalks that are going to soybeans at south. So let's assess the whole field and each field we go to before we take off and start knocking all this ground down. This is something that's going to have to be done by field, by soil type to be doing that check-in, and by the amount of drainage that you have out there. This is not the time to go to the field because 
everybody in the neighborhood is. So a situation, and if you're not sure, wait. If you're not sure it's drying up, wait. But if you get out there and you're comfortable with what we're talking about here and you can knock down some big peaks and valleys, and get it, get ourselves locked and loaded uh, for the rest of the season as it comes here the end of March and April, uh, I would go for it. So with that, uh, that was our question of the week, and we'll be back next week with a different question.